everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos just to educate women more on whole food nutrition, how you can match it to your body, your hormones, and get and keep a better result. I'm the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, right meow. You can get it right meow on Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, yes, a lot of good content in this in this bad boy here, charts and everything, telling you how to do all the things to eat for your hormones and your cycle. And my new book, The Female Menopause Solution. Yes, coming out very soon. <gasps> We're coming up on the two week mark, you guys. Coming up on the two week mark. So I'm gonna put this in the comments right now before I forget. Um, you can uh, get on the wait list for the book. You can actually pre-order it. So if you go on Amazon, you can pre-order it so that the second it's out, you like get the book, like the Kindle version, right? Um, but this is coming out August 28th. Yay! I'm so excited. But you can get on the wait list for the second it goes live, then you'll get notified for it um, as well. And I do have, you know, the 12-week challenge, which is nutrition, you know, guide and working with me closely that allows you to follow all of this information and you get custom information for you as well as working with me to guide you through that experience. And then I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that as well so you stay updated. And this is something that is new that I want to mention really briefly. Um, and one of the reasons, and something I'm going to talk about with meal prep when we talk about the truth about meal prep, like really the meal prep stuff, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? Um, and one of the reasons that I created this journal, this is a custom journal for the 12 week challenge. Isn't it cute? And look, it's like matches, matches. I love it. Um, but it takes you through all the things that you need to do as you're going through the 12 week challenge. Um, there's a morning routine, taking your basal body temperature, things that you're grateful for that sets your mindset up differently, what your focus is. And sometimes I will help you get your specific focus um, because you may be thinking, lose 10 pounds, lose 10 pounds. And I'm like, ooh, get your gut working first. That's more important than the 10, or the gut has to work before you can get the 10 pounds off, right? Um, things you can do to make today great. And then an evening routine, you know, with your nutrition, things like that, that will set um, and, and sometimes update and change as we go along, what you're proud of and then intentions. So these are all things that uh, are just, are really key. Um, to, to focus on. And again, this goes through the entire thing. There's weekly recaps, monthly recaps and everything. And this is a great tool to have as you go through the 12 week challenge. So again, there is a link in the comments as well that you can get on the wait list and get a sneak peek at a lot of the fantastic things that are um, in the 12 week challenge and that will help guide you through it really, really successfully. Really successfully. Now meal prep. Let's talk about meal prep. Now, I'm gonna to be totally honest right now and talk about meal prep. I am not meal prepped for this week. <laughs> and it is kicking my butt. It is kicking my butt big time. Seriously, not meal prepped. Um, and I, I meal prep differently than a lot of people do. Um, but I do prepare foods. I do have some foods that are ready to go fast lunches, right? Quick dinner that I can pop together in just a minute. So it's almost like meal prep, right? Like I, like I will take, like if I'm in a super big hurry, I will do salmon burgers, which are, I get at Costco and I can throw them on the grill in like, you know, 10 seconds, <laughs> not 10 seconds. They're done in less than 10 minutes. Frozen veggies, right? I don't even have to chop them. I just throw them in the pot. And then um, I'll, I'll do bread for a carb for the kids, you know, something like that. I'll make them toast. So I can make a dinner that's like complete nutrients, organic, all that stuff in less than 15 minutes and have it like ready to go. That's not my favorite way to do dinner, right? Um, but we'll talk about meal prep and being planned and prepared and all these other things and why this is so important for a lot of women. Because we're busy, because we're on the go, because things change all of a sudden, and you got to keep up with the pace of it changing, right? You don't, you don't have time. You don't have time to try and catch up if you get behind. And I totally get that. I totally get that. Now I am on my own this week. I say that on my own this week, right? And this is, this is, we're coming into fall. I know we're still August, but we're coming into fall. My husband um, is a big outdoorsman. 
he hunts and fishes a lot um, and uh, he bow hunts so he doesn't um, he doesn't use a gun um, he bow hunts and he bow hunts deer I know some people don't like that um, but uh, there's a lot of you know biological reasons why that's um, good for the environment and things if you you know with populations things like that that's a whole nother discussion um, also the meat that he gets is free range organic <laughs> So, and we eat and he uses, you know, the deer. So this is, you know, something that, you know, he will get to deer and it will give us venison for almost a whole year, um, which is fantastic. So, um, yeah, so we eat a lot of venison. I mean, really like chicken from Costco, <laughs> and the salmon burgers and venison is what we eat mostly. Um, we also use a lot of the organ meat. From there too which not a lot of people do organ meat is very nutritious for you anyway i'm getting a little off topic here but so he hunts and not right now he's out west hunting um just gone like in the middle of nowhere i'm tracking him on my computer with his like little garmin thing so i know he's still alive because i see the little thing moving through the wilderness <laughs> moving through the mountain range <laughs> it's funny <laughs> That's where I'll send people if it stops moving though. <laughs> um, but he, so he goes out and he, you know, does these hunting things and he's, you know, come fall, he'll be doing that. But usually they're for, it's for a weekend, you know, maybe a long weekend or something. And then he's back. So I'm not on my own for like 10 days. Like I am now, um, on my own, right. It's just me with the kids. Right. And I, they're my kids. I made them. I get this right. Um, but it, you know, at the same time I am, you know, making podcasts, doing videos, having meetings, you know, running my business, um, creating content for everyone and, and keeping the three small humans alive. <laughs> so that's, that's literally what I, cause I could message him on the thing, on the Garmin thing. Um, yeah. And, uh, he's like, how's it going? I was like, well, everyone's still alive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Beth is asking, did I get a dog yet? No, not yet. I haven't even had time to go to the rescue center. That's where I would go get a dog. Yeah. Is the, the rescue, the dog rescue, the, um, in Minnesota, they have a, oh, I have it pulled up on my computer. Um, oh, there's some really cute dogs there though. Mm, some really cute buddies. Mm, um, I have been looking at them though. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really, uh, really excited about getting a dog. That's my thing is that I, you know, that would be my only thing is that I would have to have enough time to get to the, you know, to the dog adoption place to get the dog before he gets home. I just have a really busy schedule. This is where meal prep comes in. Um, though here's the truth about meal prep. And when we talk about meal prep and doing all these things that help you, you know, move through your day and through your week easier is that it takes this mental energy off of what you need to do. It really does. It really, really does. Um, so I've noticed that if, because I've not been meal prepped, I don't have anything to go. I wake up in the morning and I got to make the kids breakfast. Now, again, I do, they are old enough to make their own lunches. So they make for themselves, you know, one meal a day and it's usually their breakfast or lunch. Um, I'll tell them you're on your own for breakfast. So they know if they want cereal, they have to have a shake with it. They have to have a protein shake. It's part of it. They have to have protein. Um, lunch, there's these like lunches that they'll typically make, um, that are healthy. I don't know, moderately healthy <laughs> as I think. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but they'll have to have protein and uh, veggie with their lunch. So they'll often do like gluten-free chicken nuggets, which I get at Costco. You know, I love Costco, right? Again, one of these days, somebody from Costco is going to just say, Hey, we want to sponsor you. Cause you talk about Costco all the time. I'll be like, yes, <laughs> let me show you all the magnificent things I get at Costco. Um, yes, but they'll do the gluten-free chicken nuggets from Costco and like cucumber slices and you know, some fruit or something, you know, some, whatever we've got like blueberries or whatever's in the fridge. Um, those are their, their lunches that they make, but so they usually do one meal a day. I, and I do the other two and they can get their own snacks and things like that. But um, even with not normally I have at least one meal prepped. So I am only making one like meal for them a day, which is, it's not bad. Right. But I'm realizing like, oh my gosh, if I don't have things prepped, um, it takes me 
time to get, you know, get the stuff, prep it, make it, dish everybody up, get them to eat. I mean, we're talking about an hour and a half. That times two, that's three hours of my day then. That's three hours of my day that I'm spending just making food and getting the small humans to eat the food. <sighs> what? <laughs> Ooh, who has time for that? I don't have time for that. No, that's a lot, right? So meal prep is fantastic. Here's the good things about meal prep, right? The good things are is that it takes less daily energy. Now, a lot of times what I will have prepped is I will grill more chicken when I'm making chicken for dinner and I'll have that in the fridge ready to go. So it's essentially kind of like a leftover. I'll have extra quinoa, like pesto quinoa made. And so I'll just whip that together with a salad. So I'm not having to make anything, right? I'm not making anything, but I am like throwing it together and maybe heating it up quickly, right? But that it takes me less than five minutes to do, you know, versus 35 minutes. And that extra 30 minutes then of time I get back, right? That's less daily energy and it's your thought energy. It's everything else that goes into prepping it. It really makes a huge, huge difference when you're, you have at least one to two meals a day prepped, right? Ready to go or that you can put things together. This doesn't mean you have to have them in exact meal containers. Um, cause I don't, I don't do a ton of those. I will do those sometimes. Like I'll, if we make dinner, I'll make enough for leftovers for the next day for my husband's lunch and I'll put them in a container and that's his lunch the next day. Right? So that's for him. You know, I'll do the little meal plan containers then. Otherwise I, I prep like bigger chunks of food that I can throw a meal together with, but they're, but it's different. Um, yes, it's different. Meaning I will, um, do things like pasta. Um, oh, there's just really good, like it was a bean kind of pasta, you know, some gluten-free bean based pasta. I should post a picture of it later. Um, and I'll, you know, I'll make a bunch of it and then, you know, meat sauce, all that stuff and put it in there. And then for the leftovers of it, I just use it a couple days later. I'll pop it in the oven and put cheese on it. You know, so it's sort of like lasagna, like, oh fancy dish. No, it's just the leftovers from before, but I put it in the pan and in the oven and I put cheese on it and like, it's phenomenal now all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> but everybody eats it. Right. And that's fast, easy, ready to go. I didn't have to make it. I just heated it up essentially. So that's the biggest thing there. You are having way less daily energy going towards that, which gives you time and energy for other things, because that's when I find women get off track with their meal prep is that they're, ha they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't do it and now I just can't keep up and now I feel like I'm falling behind. And I was, I'm like, oh, I, this week, I feel ya, I feel ya. I'm literally using paper plates for all the plates right now because the dishes part of it can't even handle, <laughs> can't even handle paper plates, that's it. So the truth of it is, is that when you do prep and have again, at least one meal prepped, ready to go, whatever it is, it saves you so much daily energy, daily time, everything. It's huge. The women that meal prep that do the 12 week challenge, they have honestly such an easier time with it. Right. Um, and that's, and, and it's why I created this journal. Like this journal is going to be a part of the 12 week challenge. Now you will get one of these journals that's custom made for it because of how nice it is to be prepped, prepared for everything and to have it all down. So really, really fun. Um, the less daily energy, oh yeah, keeping you on track. It keeps you on track. These are all positive things, right? You make sure that you're getting all the nutrients that, you're, that you need and, and that you're not missing anything. Um, Jennifer's saying, totally get a dog. <laughs> we do rescue all the way, right? Oh yeah, the last dog that I picked, Spot, I didn't pick. So we have a, an English Springer Spaniel, um, Spot, my middle name term, him. Um, he, I didn't choose spot. That was my husband's choice. Santa, Santa brought him. Shh, shouldn't say that too loud. My kids are upstairs. Um, but the dog we had before that, we had a chocolate lab mix something. Um, yeah, she was a rescue dog. Um, yes. So that's where I would go again. I love rescue dogs. I love little mutt rescue dogs. They're so cute. Oh, 
Okay, maybe I'll squeeze it in tomorrow. I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow. Maybe I'll go right after that. <laughs> Come home, H is gonna find a dog. Surprise! Oh man, I would have to video that. That would be amazing. Um, okay, anyway, meal prep, back to meal prep. So again, every, it keeps you on track. You get all the nutrients you need. It gets you, you know, through the week easier, less energy, all that stuff, it's fantastic. The one place where people go wrong though, is that you do the same meals all the time. The same meals all the time is not good. So I see people post this all the time and they'll do this meal prep thing. And unless you're training for a bikini show or something, which if you are cool, you know, that's your thing. A good friend of mine is training for a show right now and she's got a show coming up really soon. Her diet right now, the, the amount of food that she can eat, the different types of food she can eat is like less than a dozen. What? <sighs> what? Um, another friend of mine who was having some serious tummy troubles, serious tummy troubles. Um, you know, I, I put her on an elimination diet. Uh, it's less than a dozen foods. You know, again, that's for a specific purpose, right? Like the elimination diet to have those tummy troubles go away. That's a temporary thing until the gut heals, all that stuff, right? Like that's a, not a permanent thing, but you need this. This is like crunch time. <laughs> Let's go to doing, right? Then you have the same foods over and over and over again, essentially 12 different foods throughout, but every day you're kind of eating the same every day. Same thing with my friend who's doing the show. It's for a specific period of time. It is very purposeful, temporary though. After her show, she gets to open up the variety of foods. Same thing with my friend with the tummy troubles. After, you know, after she gets to a certain healing level, then we get to start reintroducing some more of the foods. Yeah, some more things as her gut gets stronger. So again, when you're doing meal prep, but you're prepping the same thing, and I see this from so many people that are prepping their food. They've got all their containers and it looks so cute and it's all prepped and they've got all their chicken and broccoli and rice and chicken and broccoli and rice and chicken and broccoli and rice. Okay, but that's all you're eating. Like every day, you're getting the exact same foods in. Every day, all week long, all month long. Yes, it's easier in terms of like having to think about grocery shopping or other things like that, but there is an importance in variety. And in the 12 week challenge, this is something that I teach women as well. Yes, you can have um, similar foods or the same food, right? But just don't, don't eat chicken every, all day, every day. You need different proteins in there. You need a wide variety of nutrients in there. So I have a wide variety of nutrients and foods in the 12 week challenge in the meal plan there. But if you feel like you want to swap them out or change them out, cool, right? If you're like, oh, I don't like asparagus, eh, swap it out if you don't want to eat it. The magic is not in the asparagus. The magic is not in the broccoli, right? The magic is being consistent enough day after day. And the ease comes from the meal prepping with the consistency. But if you're doing the exact same meals every day, you're missing out on a wider range of micronutrients that are in your food. Now, I do eat the same types of things every day. So I will have a shake every day or use protein powder every day and I will mix in, um, you know, my seeds for seed cycling. I will mix in some maca powder. I'll do some collagen, things like that, right? So at least six days out of seven of the week, I am having a shake that has these nutrients in it, right? That's okay. Sure. Um, but other than that, the rest of my day is a different variety every single day. Do I eat chicken every week? Yeah, but I don't eat it every day. So just in some important things to keep in mind, as you're looking at meal prepping and seeing some things out there, just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be the healthiest for them all the time. And women, a lot of the time, especially when you were in your progesterone phase, so this is, you know, days... 15 through 28 of your cycle, your body actually needs more nutrients during this time. It needs more minerals. It needs more vitamins. You need more calorie at this point too. So if you're eating the same every single day, every single day, all the time, 
you're not getting a variety in and you're not increasing the nutrients that you're gonna need during this time either. Again, that's, uh, that's why a lot of this meal prepping stuff, it just makes me banana sandwich sometimes when I see these meal prepping things and I, oh, there's this gal I would work out with and she was like, yep, my trainer, this other trainer told me this and this and this and I meal prep like this uh, all the time, da 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 da. And then she'd talk about these horrible cravings that she would have right before a period or she'd talk about all these other things. I'd be like, yeah, eat, eat more. It's not on my meal plan. It's not my meal plan. I can't have it. I'd be like, oh, you need to have a variance. You need to have a difference. You have a different body going throughout the month. Your body is literally different then. You have a different blood volume then. Your system is totally different during this time. So feed it differently. Fuel it differently. So a lot of times when I, in the 12 week challenge, I work with people and I tell them, okay, if you're meal prepping, make sure that you're including different foods. So if you're making chicken, make some turkey too. You know, if you're prepping a veggie, mix, mix up the veggies. Don't do the same veggie all week, right? And if you're focused on this point in your cycle and in the meal plan, um, in the 12 week challenge meal plan, it, it lays out all the nutrients for you. So you don't have to worry about, you know, calculating and all this stuff, it's already in there, right? Um, it's just easy to plug and play then, right? But if you're doing this on your own and you're like, how can I make a step towards, you know, improving my meal prep, figure out where you're at in your hormonal cycle and what your system needs and add more nutrient to your day or to the meals that you prep. Cause that's a big gap that a lot of women don't realize that they're missing out on. They're missing out on the meal prep. They're missing out on what their body really needs to have. And they're following something that was set up for men to be really successful at eating the same meal every single day. No variants. Women's bodies just aren't like that. Nope. Nope. Need different things. So that is where the good things about meal prep, right? <laughs> Why? Why I wanted to talk about it because I'm not meal prepped. And I have, I have such a busy day tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, I have a meeting on Thursday. I'm like, I'm either going to have to stay up really late or get up really, really early to do meal prep, um, to finish out the week. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, but it is really good for these things. The biggest downfall is when you do the same thing all the time. Don't fall into this trap. It's super easy to fall into this trap. Super easy. I see this all the time and women struggle then they struggle during this time of their cycle they struggle to stay on track and then they feel bad like they're screwing it up and I'm like it's not you right you're following a plan that's not meant for you so anyway that's what I got for you guys today again in the comments below there is the link to get on the wait list for my book that's coming out on the 28th very excited about that and um, you can get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise I will see you later.